Hi, Clark, Amy, and Alex. I am at Waterway Townhouse Condos right now, and uh, I just checked out the unit, and I think you're really going to like what I'm going to show you on this video. Uh, we're at unit number 423, and before we go inside, I just wanted to give you a quick pan of the community. It's very well kept, very quiet in Satellite Beach. It is not gated, but it's uh, it, it's very quiet. <laughs> so we're walking into 423, and as you'll see, it has been completely updated recently. Uh, it's in great shape. I would even go so far as to say it's pretty much move-in ready. Uh, I don't see any immediate projects or anything like that. Uh, you will see if I show you the floor here. The tile work is pretty unusual. It's a decorative pattern and uh, it's, it's really nice actually. It's an upgrade from what you typically see. Before I go too far into the unit, I'm going to turn back and show you the entry. So that's the door I just came through. So you can see even the door appears to be relatively new. Uh, at least it's in good shape. Got the closet right here, coat closet. Nice lights. They have been recently updated. So here we have a large main living area. The uh, listing says it's 21 by 17. It's a two-story unit with just under 1,700 square feet. Uh, three bedroom, two and a half bath. As I work my way through some furniture here, you'll see there's the uh, stairway up. The carpeting is all but brand new. It's in great shape. You can see here we have a granite breakfast bar. We have some nice cabinets. They appear to be cherry, but I'm not 100% sure about that. In any case, they're a quality cabinet. They're not quite as dark as some that you've liked, but they are in great shape. We have the nice rounded corners here on the granite. The appliances appear to be relatively new. Very clean. In fact, the entire unit is incredibly clean. Just kind of pan around here. Could not find a switch for the light, but I'm sure it works. So we have the pantry here and some storage. The entire bottom floor is tiled with this nice, somewhat irregular pattern. I will take a look at the backyard in just a second. I'll take you upstairs first. But this is unique in that the condo has not only one, but two deeded boat slips. We have the slip where the sailboat is currently, and then the agent thinks it's the slip to the right, but it could be the slip to the left. In other words, but in, in any case, that is, you get two slips. So, just panning around, giving you a nice slow look at the downstairs. Walking toward the stairway here, we can see the half bath, which as you can tell has recently been redone, say in the last year or so probably. Hard to say, it could be maybe a couple of years, but it does not look like people spend much time here. Got a nice built-in bookcase, some shelves here. Excuse me, that was my stomach. Giving its stamp of approval on the unit, I suppose. So heading upstairs, we have a nice wrought iron uh, thing here. Railing is the word I'm looking for. It's been a busy day, I apologize. The words seem to be vanishing from my mind. <laughs> uh, we have one of the full baths, 
right here. As you can see, it has also been redone. A nice granite countertop. Got the upgraded lighting, that updated lighting that is. We have a nice tiled shower and tub. And then the oversized commode, which is an upgrade. Looking back at the railing and the way down, you can get another look at it. Carpet doesn't have a spot on it anywhere that I can see. The fancy tile work is carried through to the upstairs. And as you can see, the master bedroom is entirely tiled, or the entire floor is tiled. We have a large closet here with the mirrored doors, so it's nice and bright. Lots of natural light reflecting off of those. If I stand in the closet and pan through the room, you can see we have a nice large slider out to the balcony there. And I'm going to walk this way to show you the master bath, which also has been redone recently. So you can see, even the shower is very clean. The unit has been well taken care of, for sure. I'm gonna head outside for just a minute here. So when you open the slider, which has also been replaced recently, it's a brand, relatively brand new slider. We have the nice balcony porch area here that looks out onto the lake to the left, or to the right, <laughs> and then to my left, we have the dock from the upstairs. You can see there's a nice walkway that goes around the entire thing. Great view from here. You can definitely have a large boat if you choose to. Nice pontoon boat. Heading back inside. We are now going to walk back into the hallway. Back up here just for a second to show you that there's a storage closet here. There's your air handler. Off to the left. Off to the right is a linen closet. The third bedroom is a little tight. It's not too small, but it's 12 by 10. So it's a great guest bedroom. And then the room Alex would probably want to claim for herself is a good sized room here. Again, both of these bedrooms are tiled. Got the mirrored closet door here. Now what I did not see was a washer dryer. We're gonna go check that out downstairs. There probably, like many of the units, is a uh, stackable off the kitchen. So just taking one more look around as I go downstairs, walk towards the staircase. 
Nice lighting again. Yeah, not only is this, is this unit in great shape, but the monthly fees, as I'm sure you noticed, are lower than many of the other places we've looked. I can tell you out of everything we've seen, I don't think we've encountered a unit quite this clean and move-in ready. Uh, the only one that kind of springs to mind is that one we saw months ago in Indy Atlantic that had the hurricane shutters where the agent met us. Uh, that was many months ago though and I tell you what, you could move right into this place. So why don't we see if we have a washer dryer here? Nope. Do we have a winner behind this door? We do not. Interesting. Let me walk over here to the front. Even though I've never seen a washer dryer in a front entry. All right, I don't see a washer dryer. Let's take a look at the back. There is a storage area that could possibly maybe have a washer dryer in it. Aha, we're in luck. So we have the hot water heater out here and we have a full size washer dryer off the porch. So good news. I was hoping we'd find one there. So not where you typically find them, but at least they're there, right? So I'm closing the door, the slider, so we can step out to the back. I'll give you a look around. So it's a screened porch downstairs. Upstairs, that's the master bedroom. There is no screen. But as you can see, you can't have hurricane shutters installed. Walking down toward the boat dock. I can see these spaces are numbered. So here's 18. 17 is the one with the sailboat. I don't know if that's for sale or not. And then 16 is next to it. I'll try to find out which ones go with it. But they are deeded, so they are yours. And the uh, community takes care of the seawall and the walkway, so that's part of your monthly dues. They've recently been redone, so you're not going to have an assessment for it anytime soon. Windy today. It's Friday. Hurricane Irene was supposed to come through today when they had the early projections. Unfortunately, it's uh, hitting up north for those folks. Uh, we don't have the hurricane, but we do have some wind today. Go back inside. I'll tell you again, these are some heavy duty sliders. I don't think you'd need a, a hurricane shutter for that door, I tell you what. So just to give you another quick peek at the downstairs. I'll tell you again though, this is move-in ready, uh, rental ready if you wanted to do something like that. I don't know if the furniture is included or not, but uh, all you'd have to do for this one is maybe furnish it and Grab your key, grab your suitcase, and head on down. If you have any questions about this one, uh, please give me a call. I will uh, get the seller's disclosure, and if you don't have it already, I will have it to you soon. Thanks for giving us a call about this one. I'll uh, be in touch. Thanks for watching.